Though if you know me, you know I hate running indoors, but there's just nothing to do. Still a lot of snow on the ground and ice, and it's actually rainy today, so we're kind of getting that situation where there's a lot of slush and ice running into the road and just not too safe. I'm gonna get into some PT workouts now. Since I haven't had the car, I also haven't been able to get myself to PT, so I've been stuck doing it on my own here. <music> All right, so that's the end of the workout for today. A little bit of treadmill running, a little bit of workouts and exercises. I did some more in the gym itself, but you know, once somebody else comes into the gym, I feel a little uncomfortable filming. Some people probably don't wanna show up on camera in the gym, so I just put the camera away so that way nobody feels uncomfortable. And I finished up a few things here just to share some more with all of you, but not a lot has been going on with the snow, with the car again in the shop. Uh, no loaner for me available just yet. It really hasn't been too exciting or it really hasn't been too much to share with all of you here. But a couple updates, you know, Frankie's doing really well. He's been uh, running around with Charlie a lot more and just hanging out on the new bed that we put together just the other day. So he's having a blast and he's looking really good. So hopefully he stays that way for a while. If he has any other issues with his back, we have a dog neurologist to take him to and work on that spine and get the scans and everything he might need to make sure he's okay going forward. But for now, he's good. Now I have word from the car dealership that I should have a loaner available to me today. So that should allow things to open up again and me to get around. You know, Megan and I coming out of New York City, one car was more than enough, but we've just been working from home since moving to more of a suburb area. And you know, now that that one car needed some service done, we've just been stuck and we're obviously now gonna be shopping around, I think for a second car because that just seems like what is needed out here in the suburbs. So. That's really all the life updates to catch you up on. And I wanna talk just briefly today about a shoe company that reached out to me and sent me a couple pairs of shoes. And I think that these shoes are going to be a great fit for someone who's new to running, uh, someone with a wide foot, which I'll explain later, a lot of volume to their foot, and uh, someone who needs a lot of structure in their shoes. So let me show you what I've got here. So the brand that sent me these two pairs of shoes is called Fitville. And I'll show you some of the unboxing here. Both of these pairs of shoes come in their own little shoe bag. Uh, the walking pair of shoes I have comes with like a very nice, almost like felt shoe paper. So it's not a paper at all. It's just a nice felt material. Uh, the cones that go inside the shoes are you know, meticulously wrapped in paper to keep the structure and everything. So they put a lot of attention into just boxing these up really nice and making them kind of a luxury experience, even though the price point is fairly low for these shoes. Now, these shoes are built with a couple things in mind. One, they're really built for stability. They are built with a very wide platform and they actually only come in wide sizes. So they're gonna be for people who need a lot of structure, a lot of stability, and a lot of volume uh, that their foot holds that they need to fill up a shoe. And you know, these shoes come in wide, extra wide, and so on. That's really, I couldn't even get them in a you know, normal or narrow size at all. Now I think that's okay. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know that I'm not someone who's been looking for stability shoes. I've been running in Nike racing shoes, some of the other super shoes, Asics, Brooks, 
Saucony, all these things over time. Adidas more recently I've gotten into as well. And a lot of those shoes focus on responsiveness, speed, you know, bounce, cushion, uh, and these are very different than that. So to be completely honest, you know, these were sent to me for free by the company. You know, there's no obligation to make any video or anything like that, but they've been harder for me to run in for one because I don't need a true wide shoe. I, I've learned at this point because this shoe has a lot of volume and more than I need for my foot. And on top of that, it's just also so very, very structured, and again, just a harder shoe as you hit the ground because it's so focused on stability and not so much that cushion bounce and um, like propelling or bounciness to move you forward kind of feeling. Now that's not a bad thing. I think this shoe is just designed for somebody who's looking to get into running or is a newer runner and someone who needs that stability and support. Maybe someone who's just getting back into the gym, still has a lot of volume to their foot. They want that wider size, that wider size for support. And just again, for comfort and making sure your foot really fits in that shoe without getting crunched up. So I think these running shoes are a good introductory shoe. They're called the Stride Core. Again, they come from Fitbill. And I just think they have a very good quality to them that they're worth still just mentioning and sharing to all of you. And if you're someone who's looking to get into running, I would recommend these shoes over something like the lower cost options from a big brand like Nike or Adidas. I've made a video in the past actually where I talked about how they call some of the Adidas shoes like running shoes, but they're the very low budget options. I don't think they have a lot of good stability. They have a very dense foam, but not really a good structure to them. So I would always tell people to kind of avoid those low budget like Nike and Adidas shoes. And something like this might be a better option. Again, if you're looking to start running, get into maybe a run walk program, something like this is just a little bit more desirable to help people with foot issues, help people with plantar fasciitis, that kind of thing, need a wide structured and supportive footbed. Uh, this is the shoe for more of that. So I just wanted to mention Fitville again, you know, for sending me the shoes, they're worth looking into if you're that type of runner. I think they're gonna be a good option. New runners need support, need stability, looking for a more firm but supportive ride. This is your shoe that uh, you could try and they're really not that expensive at all. I'll show you the second shoe really quick. This is the walking shoe that I was talking about. And again, you know, it's just things like the shoe insert is just meticulously wrapped. Uh, really nice quality. The paper again over there in the shoe box is just you know, makes it feel luxurious. And again, the price point isn't that high, but these are super comfortable. They don't feel as wide for me. And these are more of a walking or casual shoe. So the width being a little bit too wide is not as much of an issue as like a running shoe would be for me. So the shoes look good. I really think it's worth again, looking into, if you're just looking to introduce yourself to a more active lifestyle or something like that, you know, these really could be an option for you. And again, I just wanted to share them since they were sent to me for free. And I think they deserve a shout out, even though they're not going to be something that I really am able to run in much going forward just because of that width and you know just the firmness that is a little bit too firm for me being someone that just have developed a habit of running in those shoes that are more soft and more cushioned and bouncy and really don't have support it's just not something that I've needed although maybe it's something I should look into since obviously I was injured over the last season. I uh, appreciate everyone's patience. It hasn't been that exciting on my channel this week as the car again has been in the shop, but hopefully we get back out there soon. I've wanted to go up Mount Beacon this week. I kept forgetting. I can't really drive there. It was a little bit far to run there and run up, all things considered, just kind of getting back into my routine. So hopefully the adventures will continue very soon. But thank you all for watching. Take care, and I hope to see you in the next video as we start getting ready for the New York City Half Marathon. Take care.